Welcome to day two of the Lone Star State Invitational, and we are set for a premier matchup between one of the best pitchers in the nation, Nyjah Kennedy, and one of the elite offenses in the country. One two on the way from Gutierrez. And hit for the eighth time this season. And she even backed off the plate a little bit with two strikes, but she's or no walks, and just one earned run allowed all year. Count 0 1 to River Mailer, the sophomore out of Monroe, Washington. That one gets past Atwood and Stanford with a runner in scoring position. Pitchers in the country as well. You do definitely realize it. <laughs> it's not a secret. Mailer sends one to left. The freshman Henry backing up and drops it. Two aboard here and rounding third and coming home to score is Kern. Stanford jumps out to the early lead. This has trailed this entire year. That's how strong they have been. But this is just a freshman mistake. She just kind of carried back instead of sprinting back to get underneath that ball. As she carried, her feet kept moving. It bounced off. And good base running by Taryn Kern. She was going all the way. Actually ran through the stop sign. Coach Alistair looked like she was putting her hand up for her to stay at third. She went. And caught in a rundown is Mailer. The throw to third gets away from Scott. Mailer heads home. And she's safe. Texas defense just letting them down again. This is a squeeze. So River Mailer is going to be running on the pitch. It's a suicide squeeze. Coke misses the bunt, and then they just have her out to dry. But Texas cannot play the rundown. And it did look like. She missed the tag maybe of Mailer, but I think Texas might be reviewing it. Actually, all the umpires are still in their spot, but athletic slide by Mailer to get under the tag from Gutierrez, who's not ideal situation for the pitcher to be covering home, and that's showing a lot of command early on in this game. But you have to remember how important two runs is for a team like Stanford. Not a high-scoring team as Coke draws a walk there like Texas is, but when you have... For more. Early here in the first, Conoshero chops one into the glove of Scott. They get the out at second, first out of the ball game. Back up the middle, Washington. Safe, they get the out at second, two away. Love the base running idea yeah. there of Conish. She's 26 coming up in the inning already for Gutierrez. Fields that one on to first. At the top of the first is over. Stanford jumping out to the early 2-0 lead. Kennedy five walks on the season in just over 35 innings. And walks the leadoff batter here, Bella Dayton. I see her. Who expected that? Two straight walks to lead off the game for Kennedy. Great misses. So that's up and in to right-handed hitters, up and in on their hands. Like that. Makes quick work of Katie Stewart. We should see if she could get her to swing and miss at it. One and two. She also will mix it. It's actually a timing violation, so that's going to be a strike on Reese Atwood, and that will be an out because there were already two strikes on her. So just as a reminder, we do have an action clock out on the field. Chopped over to short, on to first, and dropped at first base by Gall, and flying in to score is Bella Dayton. Tight. Good hustle by Jolie Mitchell because this ball took River Mailer deep into the hole. It was a long throw. Would have been close at first base regardless, but didn't even get a call from the umpire at first base on if she actually would have been out. But the ball is dropped. Bella Dayton's going to score. Back-to-back -back walks to start this inning. And one of them come around to score. I will say this, Amanda. 2-2. Two -two. 
just in foul territory is Barry to make the grab and the inning comes to an end. Tech Barry, one of those freshmen playing tonight. Grounds out to first. And again over to first. Stewart is there, two away. Much quicker inning so far for City. Among those ranked teams beat Tennessee 1-0. San Diego State 3-0. This one hit right at Bella Dayton and a 1-2-3 inning worked by Sitlali Gutierrez. Behind that as well to name her the captain. Over to short. One away. and everything that they will face and see in a real game moving forward, trying to win a conference championship. Strikeout number three. For it's Tori Nyberg, the pitching coach for Stanford in the dugout, calls the pitches. Kennedy is pumped. She ends the inning with back-to-back -back strikeouts. Four percent. Wow. And that got a piece of her. She's hit for the second time in this game. Strike. It will be just a ball, and the count will be 3 0. Okay, there we go. After all that, ends up on first, anyways. Lead off hitter aboard. Lays down the bunt. Charging in is Mia Scott. Look at the speed from the third baseman. You want to see your third baseman take charge like this, and still made it to the World Series. This one ripped down the line. That's a fair ball as it goes into the corner, flying around the bases and scoring is Kern. Stanford goes back up by two. Coach Allister has been loving the at-bats from Caitlin Koch. That's why she puts her right there in that three spot. Look at how she just stays on that inside corner, keeps it fair. I mean, that was fair by just a couple of feet, but fair is fair. And because of the sacrifice, Bunt put down good execution by Stanford, able to score a run from second base. And Stanford up by two runs again. And a little bit, and then go. Kanashiro slices one. Maloney. Makes the grab, Ashton Maloney with the out. Stanford saying it hit the ground. And Jessica Allister coming out to argue. Didn't look like it bounced. It was hard to see if it bounced from the ground into her glove or if it bounced. Ooh. Here we go. Call stands or something that's more of the most thing straightforward we've seen. That one poked to left field. Henry is there. And the inning comes to an end. Stanford jumps back up by two. Quickly ahead, 0-2. Chopped over to short. Mailer has to hurry. Not in time. Another close call. Scott lays down the bunt. Barry over to first, advances the runner. Everything speeds up on defense with Texas's speed, even a career at bat against Kennedy. Rips one over to third, snared by Barry. Smitty, you said that this game felt more like a postseason game. Two, with two away. Atwood gets into one, sends it to deep left center, and we are tied at three. Didn't necessarily.
necessarily get her full at bat off of Kennedy and her last at bat. So she makes the most of it. This one fouls off several pitches, but gets her barrel on plane with that rise ball up and in and sends it just up the middle of the field. We said it. We showed you that is where she has been driving the ball with power up the middle of the field. Reese Atwood ties up this game with her ninth home run this season. Just the second homer allowed this year by Kennedy. Jolie Mitchell grounds out to end the inning, but we have a brand new ball game. Down there with the exception of Kavan, who threw earlier today. Jones takes one to center right at Bella Dayton. And those are the types of swings that you start to see yes. from Stanford, too, that you start to put two and two together about. Barry to left field. Henry tracking it, makes the run down the line for the grab. Two away. Payoff pitch. Bouncing over to Martinez, who handles it cleanly. A 1-2-3 inning worked by Sitlali Gutierrez. Kennedy. Kern calls for it. One away. Expectations. Now everybody knows the scattering port is 73 up in the zone. That's a great pitch right there on the changeup. Calls. Swing and a miss. Gets Henry for the second time, and that is now six Ks on the night for Kennedy. And Phenomenal numbers coming into this one. Melissa Washington. They relied on her to be their ace. Washington busy. Pitcher. Wisely done. That one in and out of the glove of Stewart. Tosses it to no one. So rounding first will be Mailer. And she will end up in scoring position. Mailer on second. 2-2. Two -two. And lines out to end the inning. A big out recorded by Estelle Chen. Six total runs tonight. Three have been unearned. Right into the glove of Barry. It's a big thing about having more of an upspin pitcher like Kennedy with. Was the first when she threw 33. Set into foul territory. And leaping for it is Schrader. Two away. Right Star freshman. It's been so good so far in her career. She's played in the outfield. That one off the glove of Barry. Mailer can't get it there in time. It's bobbled anyway. And Scott reaches with two away. It's Sends one to shallow right. That's a fair ball. It will drop in. Scott will hold up at third. Thought about heading home. Now runners on the corners for Texas. And she ended up going back to the curveball, but just... Atwood lifts one to center field. Calling for it is Jones. And the threat is over. Texas strands two. Picking up here, McCombs Field, gusting out to left field. Conoshero. Washington called off Martinez. The cap hitter. We'll never know. Ava Gall, that one over the glove of Stort. And the go-ahead run for Stanford is on at first. That first left-handed offense, her bat. That one popped right into the glove of Czech. A huge second out recorded. Seen both teams now pop up. Estelle Check ends the top of the sixth inning. This is defensive miscue. Popped up. Mailer is there. Yeah. And hits Martinez.
So the third time through the order, three of the first six Texas batters have not striking out. Called strike three. Number between Henry and Stewart have struck out three times. Hunter takes one to right field. That's going to drop in. Texas has two on with two away. Oh, Coach White is going to love that from the freshman. Put her in the semifinals. We'll see what she does here. And just like that, Kennedy makes quick work of Simmons. Defense played a huge role early in this one. Will it again late here in Austin? Called strike three. Chan takes one to left field. Henry is there. Yeah. Over to second, past Washington. And a base knock for Taryn Kern here in the seventh. Go to left field, Henry is there. And here we go, bottom of the seventh on the way at Austin, tied at three, top of the order. Dayton lays down the bunt, charging in his Barry. Dayton is safe, the throw gets away, and Bella Dayton slides into scoring position. And pops up the bunt, Kennedy holds on. And I was gonna say, bunt situation. Katie Stewart's at bats have gotten better off of Kennedy. I think that she absolutely did leave way early, and she's going to get called out. So you cannot leave the bag until the pitcher releases the ball. And the fact that you can now review that change in the review rules is a game changer, especially late in the game. Oh my goodness, what a huge call this is going to be. And Dayton is out at second. Yeah. Absolutely. Game changer. Dayton was in scoring position with no outs. Instead, the inning comes to an end with strikeout number nine on the night for Kennedy. He's walked and delivered a run scoring double. Corners for Texas playing in. That one gets away from Atwood and Mailer moves down to third. It Oak sends one to left field. Did it get deep enough? Henry is there, makes the grab. Mailer tags. The throw home, and it's dropped. Stanford goes up by one here in the top of the eighth inning. Hopefully River Mailer is okay after that slide. But this, Alex, is why you push the envelope when you have a runner at third base, even if it looked like it seemed like high risk of being out because you have to make the throw, you have to make the catch, you have to make the tag. And River Mailer just goes in there so unorthodox and her foot slid in right away the first time that she slid and got in there, but went back to tag the base anyway. And Stanford coming right back and snatching that momentum that whizzes past the head of Czech and a base knock by Kaneshiro. Exactly what you want to have, exactly what you want to do, and what you want to see is your coach around and cause extra bases. There's a base knock for Gall. Stanford with two on, and only one out here in the top of the eighth. Jones takes one to left field. Henry is there for the second out. Eight of the at bat on the way. Over to short. Martinez on the second. And here we go. Bottom of the eighth coming up. Reese Atwood will lead. Now entering her eighth inning of work. There's number 10. Her biggest of the night.
Lifts one to short. Mailer is there, and Stanford has taken down number two, Texas. That is a big deal to come into Austin and beat the home team on their turf. A back and forth game, a long, crazy game. Nigeria Kennedy, I mean, pitched for almost three hours is going to be the game time. She could tell that she was fighting. The Stanford team fought until the end against one of the best offenses, one of the best teams of the year so far in Texas. This is a mega win for Stanford to put on their resume. Great pitching overcame, great hitting tonight.